Hi, welcome to another page fly tutorial. In this video, we're going to walk you through the very basic steps of building the most two important pages of your online store with Shopify motion theme, homepage and product page. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and follow for best Shopify tips and tutorials. So this is the theme editor for the Shopify motion theme and I'm on the homepage. You can see it has every basic features and sections here. First, we have the above the fold section. Now this is what I like about motion theme, the video background helps you show off your brand right away which is a great use of storytelling. You can change the video background using YouTube link which is super convenient and easy. The call to action is a must, it prompts users to take actions and get further into your funnel, you can easily add a button here, a CTA action text and add destination page, in this case, I want my customers to go to product pages, so I select product pages. Scrolling down we have the most popular collection section, it's self-explanatory, you'll just need to add your collection here. Down below is a rich text section that can be used to further explain your brand and your value proposition. It's designed in a minimal style, gives room for focus so this introduction should be 2 to 3 sentences long only. Below that we have fading hero image, which I particularly love, it's add another touch to the story of your homepage or telling. This section is simply for storytelling and impressing, you can add image here. Rotate them here. Add overlay so that the text can be readable and popped out. The large image with text can be used to introduce your brand, your story, and add a human touch to your store. A button can be added here. An about us button should be relevant. The last one is about us text with columns, as already written here, you can use this section for a wide variety of purposes, explain product features, link to a blog post, answer common questions. You can also add more section. Let's say I'd like to have a map to my store. Or let's say I want to add a contact form here. Note that all submissions to your contact form will be sent to your email, which is set up in the general settings within your homepage. Another thing you can use is the pop-up, which can be used to collection customer emails, announce about an upcoming discount, etc. You can edit the content here, add a button here, enable test mode to see how it looks like. It's up to you. Moving on to product pages. You have a very simple product layout, which is both good and bad. The good thing is that it looks clean and roomy, and impress your audience right away with strong visuals. The not so good is that it's too simple. 
You have a product details section here with basic element like product image, description, product variant and pricing. Scrolling down is a you also like section. Notice that you cannot see the add section placeholder here. So what if you want to add more sections? You can go to theme settings here, greater than you can add content from other pages, or enable product review here. You can also customize the general looks of your store with theme settings, typography, colors here. So what if you want to customize the product page to the tiniest details, PageFly will help you with it. Here you have PageFly page editor, you can easily add product details. Add image list. Add image effect here. You also have over 50 sections at your disposal here. We have all product related sections. Reviews. Upsell and cross sell. And other sections for further customization. Check out the link in the bio for more details on how you can get started with page. Fly. So that's it. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below.